What is going on, guys? We are back with part two, or the second draft pick for Green Bay. Of course, uh, I have the first video half rendered. It probably should be up by the time this is out, because otherwise, you know, I'm not going to render two videos at once. But, of course, didn't get a reaction from your guys' reaction of Quay Walker, other than the fact that I know a lot of the NFL world is, you know, kind of laughing at it now, which... I mean, it's more of a kind of meme that, you know, Green Bay doesn't draft first-round wide receivers. But you look at, you know, some of the guys in Green Bay's past, I mean, none of them were first-round wide receivers, right? And Green Bay has had some pretty good receivers outside of maybe the, you know, the last three or four seasons outside of Devontae, obviously. But Green Bay finds talent in rounds two and three and typically rounds two, which they have two more picks, maybe more if they decide to trade up or whatever they might do. I mean, Jordan Love is still... Quite possibly a trade candidate. I don't think it's going to happen because he has, you know, like seven mil uh, of a dead hit. I believe if we trade him, but could still happen. Uh, I think wide receiver isn't going to be the pick here. As if you go pick twenty two and you don't take wide receiver, especially when you're going to be the team that takes the first linebacker off the board. I just don't see it happening at 28. It just doesn't make any sense because, you know, there's a couple of teams that are behind you that are, are pretty wide receiver needy themselves. You could see the, um, what do we got here? Uh, you could have seen, um, what is it called? The Ravens obviously needed one because they just, I mean, they needed one regardless, but they lost uh, Brown. The Bills could have used one. Dallas technically could have used one. Um, the Jets could have grabbed another. Uh, you know, there's some teams that could have obviously... Uh, taking wide receiver after you. So if you don't take wide receiver at 22, I just don't think you see that value there uh, to take one at 28. I mean, I, I will say it's a couple picks back, so maybe you do. Maybe you're like, screw it. We can't, we can't let this happen again. But ultimately, I think this is probably uh, interior D-line or offensive line. I think Green Bay's line played all right enough without, uh, you know, some of the names. You know, we had no David Bakhtiari, no Elton Jenkins, no Josh Myers. Uh, you know, Billy Turner was hurt. And Green Bay's line held up well enough, to be honest. So uh, with those guys returning, maybe O-line isn't as big of a need as some teams are thinking or some people are saying. Could you see a double dip on defense? I don't know, but you know the drill. I'm just going to, you know, kind of wait it out and cut to when the pick is on. All right, anything but safety, anything but safety, and... Devontae White. Okay, now I will say, you know me as a Madden franchise, dude. Age is a concern. Obviously, Quay Walker, very young. Going to be 22 soon enough. Uh, Devontae White, not so much. Uh, he's 24. I worry a little bit about that. I worry about the length a little bit, but I do think he is a very good pick. Obviously, you know, one of the big things that everyone keeps saying is if it wasn't for Jordan Davis, Devontae Wyatt's freakiness because of his speed and athleticism for his size would also be uh, way up there and, uh, you know, well publicized. Uh, of course, the bench wasn't super great. And like I said, I worry about the arm length a little bit, but joining Kenny Clark, a very good edge unit, especially with Quay Walker, like I said, moving around quite a bit, working with Devontae, this could be a top three, top five defense in the league. On paper, I mean, before the draft, they look great. And right now, Green Bay is just kind of taking best available pick. Uh, I will say Quay is a little bit of a reach, but you never really know what happens. Uh, you know, once again, Green Bay took Quay, but when's if a team was going to take Quay right behind him? You don't know. He's a very freaky athlete. Once again, pretty damn versatile. Uh, but overall, Devontae Wyatt, I don't like the age, like I said. But at the same time, once Rodgers leaves, what kind of team are you looking at anyways? Worst case scenario, like, you know, he's going to be there for another four or five years. So what, 28, 29, you know, it is a little bit on the older side, but at the end of the day, it's all about good players, and he just looks like a good player. Obviously, Green Bay loved what Georgia was able to do in the ground defense. Green Bay has been kind of a pretty bad unit against the run. Uh, I thought they actually handled San Fran about as well as you could, uh, but at the same time, in general, Green Bay's run defense has not been great over the last, honestly, almost decade, and the talent they added in this draft is... Very immense. These are very good athletes, very good players. They're obviously going to know each other well. And uh, ultimately, I think it's a really good pick. I like that pick more than Quay Walker, just because I feel like, once again, you kind of get swayed a little bit by the media. It doesn't matter, right? AJ Dillon, I was, you know, all over that pick as a stupid pick. The whole media was over it being a dumb pick. 
And look at A.J. Dillon. He's, he's really, really good and a huge part of this team. If A.J. Dillon doesn't get hurt against the Niners, maybe not a pretty win, but they probably hold on to win that game, simply put. But, of course, he got injured. Uh, same with Rashawn Gary, listed as a bust. You know, decent upside, but just, you know, way too high. It wasn't worth the pick. And now he's one of the best pass rushers in the league, at least as of last year. Uh, and it seems to be that he will get better as, you know, once again, he's getting more talent around him as well. It's just a situation, I think, where Green Bay, you know, the wide receivers weren't valuable enough. Of course, there's some teams jumping at wide receiver here, and, uh, you know, rightfully so, I suppose. And Green Bay is, I would say, easily the number one wide receiver needy team in the league, especially when you factor in uh, where they're projected to go, especially, once again, with a defense like that, with a quarterback like Rodgers, you know, some talent at running back. Green Bay can still get away with just pounding the rock. Once again, they should be a healthier team on the offensive line as well, which once again played well enough. But when you add those really good all-pro level talents, you know, you're going to have something there. Josh Myers wasn't looking bad himself either. So, I mean, Elton Jenkins moving to right tackle. You have three potential really good players, at least the tackle spots. I mean, you will probably have a good chunk of time to throw uh, players open. Amari Rodgers, we'll see what kind of offseason he has. Of course, there's still so much left in this draft. And, I mean, really, as long as Green Bay doesn't lose their first or second round pick next year, I'm kind of liking what's going to happen. I, I think Green Bay could have done way worse than they did. I think the initial reaction is going to be that Green Bay was kind of iffy because, once again, they didn't grab that wide receiver, which... You look at their history, they haven't done that really at all. I think it's been 20 years now, and they've had some pretty good receiving rooms. So we'll see how the rest of the draft uh, shapes up, but I don't mind wide receiver not being taken at 22 or 28. I was a little iffy on Quay. I kind of looked more into Quay, and I was like, you know what? This guy's a freak. This guy's an actual freak. I know he's projected mid-second, but projections don't matter a single bit. Look at what the Texans did with Stingley. Stingley could regain his form. I will say the Texans are kind of on that jumping the gun early, kind of you know not really panning out list lately. But I don't mind the pick. I really like Devontae Wyatt. I think Wyatt is an amazing pick. Quay, I'm a little more skeptical about. But like I said, if you're going to take a luxury pick because you don't see the value anywhere else, it's not the worst type of player to go for. Once again, Green Bay has loved having those extra edge rushers. Not that he's necessarily a pure edge rusher. You know, could have had Jermaine Johnson. Uh, I think that would have probably been the clear-cut better choice. But I will say, you know, I, I do like the depth at linebacker now. And I think, like I said, Green Bay is a top three, top five unit now easily. I think it's without a doubt. Once again, got to stay healthy. I think the next thing is lock up Jair. I don't even care about second round wide receivers. I want Jair locked up long term now, and I'm happy with what's going on. Like I said, the the run of wide receivers just made it tough. Green Bay probably should have traded up though. I will say, if you trade 22 and 59 for like I don't even know what that gets you. Let me look. Let me let me try to guess. Could have traded uh 22 and 59. For 14, where Kyle Hamilton went, you could have went with Traylon Burks. I think that would have been a really good draft. You would have had Traylon and Devontae Wyatt, most likely. I think, uh, you know, I think that's a really good draft. I still like what we got, but once again, I would have loved to see that wide receiver depth because I am worried. I think Green Bay has to go wide receiver with both of their picks in the second round unless they trade up, you know, whatever, next year or something. Or they, uh, like I said, Jordan Love gets traded, which would be a little surprising because we haven't seen, like, some crazy reach on quarterback there was still that thought that maybe teams would reach and uh to my knowledge here it's probably just going to be kenny pickett unless somebody sneaks in right at the end um but overall uh i i don't i don't think it's a bad class i think you know this is like a b first initial reaction to green bay's draft was like d right now i think it's a b i think green bay did all right like i said the biggest need outside of wide receiver probably was you know interior d-line next to kenny clark he's just kind of gone at it himself lately and i actually really like that move so overall not the worst class not the worst draft i think the thing that the problem is i think people have expectations that wide receivers were going to fall more and they just simply didn't i mean Traylon burks was at one point i think recently mocked somehow in the second to the bears it didn't even get to the 20s you know like it's just the wide receivers were gone. I mean, unless you were going to trade up, which Green Bay, I guess, didn't see the value, which I suppose in this draft, maybe not the best to do since there is still more wide receiver talent, I think. 
they did about as well as they could. I mean, outside of maybe trading 22 down, adding some picks, and still maybe landing Quay later or, you know, landing some other linebacker later, which you don't know once again. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. Quay could have been taken, you know, to Dallas or something. You know, they're, they're not really super high on Leighton Vander Esch anymore. You, you just don't know. The Ravens, I know they got Kyle Hamilton's kind of linebacker now. You just don't know where they could have went. So it's all uh, speculation. And like I said, I'd give them a B for the first round. Just a B. Second round, though, if they don't grab wide receiver, I don't care how good the value is. You know, Ryman falls all the way down there to like 50-something. I don't care. It's it's going to be an F for me. you got to grab wide receiver in the second without a doubt. But anyways, that's going to be it. Like I said, I'll probably do a uh, kind of recap or a reaction to the whole first round. It was a pretty crazy first round, one of the most crazy in recent years. You know, seeing wide receivers traded for first round picks isn't a super common thing. But obviously, this offseason has just been filled with it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. And uh, we'll have more draft stuff, uh, probably a rebuild tomorrow as well. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!